Okay, I'm in the Hotel de la Poeta, and uh, this is in Ronda, and uh, we got this hotel room here, and um, you can see it's pretty nice, and it's really close to the Tahoe Bridge, so it's in a very good location. I actually stayed at this hotel one time before, it was in January, and we're back here in the summer. I'm here with my son, Jordan. So I got two nights here for, it was under 100 euros, it was 98 euros, so. And we have two beds, and um, they're small beds. The rooms are not big, but it's very comfortable, and this place is very nice. It um, was the home of a poet, and it's decorated up, um, still decorated very nicely, and he was a friend of Ernest Hemingway. So I guess even Ernest Hemingway had stayed here. So um, they, they used to call it the House of Ernest Hemingway, or the, and now it's the Hotel of the Poeta, something like that, but a famous poet from Ronda. And we even have a balcony, so we can come out on the balcony and take a look. I didn't have that before, it's kind of nice. How do you like the room? It's nice. You know, it's a it's a good room. It's not the hugest room, but it's good. Nice view. Uh, yeah. In Spain, you don't get a huge room normally. Yeah. So I really like the way this hotel is nicely decorated up. You can, it's really uh, a fabulous uh, house and it's a beautiful place. And it's really close to the gorge. It's a um, fantastic location in Ronda. to say this is a really charming little hotel and it's um, beautifully decorated I mean you have these beautiful paintings and uh, they're all over the hotel so it really has a um, more of a feel of like uh, staying in a little palace or something like that or, or a home uh, more than a hotel it's very relaxed feeling it's not uh, it's not like a corporate hotel or something like that Okay, I want to talk about this hotel here. We stayed here. It's a Hotel del Poeta or Hemingway in uh, Ronda. It's the second time I stayed here and it's a pretty good hotel. It's not bad. It's not perfect. There's a few things that we had a little problems with. I wanted to mention them. Um, the telephone was pretty old. didn't work. We tried to call down to the desk. The man could not hear us at the desk. That was one problem. Another problem we had, the, the refrigerator does not close that easily. Uh, the lock on it, you had to like twist this lock to get it to close and it was kind of a problem. So that was, and it wasn't perfectly clean inside, so that was one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, the headboards, the headboards on the beds were a little bit loose. So that was something that was kind of noisy a little bit if you got close to the headboards, so that was a detraction. But the place is in a very good location. It was clean. There was some few minor details. They do have it as a four-star hotel. Would I say it's a true four-star? Probably not. But um, if you can get a good deal on this hotel, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, it's not a perfect hotel, but it is a good hotel. So as far as a rating, probably it's like a seven and a half, something like that, maybe even an eight, because it is very nice inside. So that's what I would give this hotel rating. So did you have anything else to say, Jordan? You, any other things about it? Okay, okay, so that's a review of the hotel, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, Travel Addict Guy. Thank you so much.